Okay, welcome back. Um, in this uh, in this video, we will discuss how to do some basic expansion. Okay, so of course, uh, you know, for for this part of the chapter, we will just be using this formula that you see on the screen over here. Okay, so you know, to make things easy for everyone, I'll just leave the formula at the top of the screen. Okay, but eventually, when the exam comes, I you know, I think you you should somehow or rather be really familiar with this. Okay, so. Just select my favorite color over here and uh, down to the first example. So if you see the formula over here, in this case, my A is 1, my B is 3x, and my N is 4. Okay, so how I'm going to do my expansion? So I'm just, I'll just uh, write out the question over here. Okay, so following the formula, as I said, N is, uh, sorry, let, let's just uh, you know write down the term. So A is 1, as, I, as we discussed. So B is 3x and uh, N is 4. Okay, so if a is 1 and 1 to the power of 4, okay, and then using the formula n choose 1, okay, and still remember in the previous uh, video we discussed what is n choose 1, so in this case n is uh, 4, so 4 choose 1, and uh, a, okay, since a is 1, it's redundant to keep writing a, okay, because you, you, as you can see, 1 to the power of anything is still 1, okay, so I'll just write one more just to show you, so this will be, sorry, this will be 4, 4 minus 1, Okay, and uh, B is just a uh, 3x. Okay, so carrying on. So uh, N choose 2 will be uh, 4 choose 2. A is 1. As I said, there's no point writing the, the 1. Okay, so we're just going to leave that out for now. Okay, this will be 3 square. Okay, a few more uh, terms to go. So I've got N choose, uh, sorry, N choose 3. And I got 3x power 3. And then finally, I got 4 choose 4. And 3x power 4. Okay, it's important to know when to stop, okay, when you do your binomial expansion. You will stop when the number over here, okay, becomes the same number as the number above, okay? So, 4 choose 4, we stop here, okay? So, let's simplify this. So, 1 to the power of 4 is just 1, okay? And uh, 4 choose 1, okay, is just 4, okay, 4 times 3x, Okay, and uh, 4 choose 2. Okay, if you're wondering how, how to get the uh, values for 4 choose 2, you can just press your calculator. Okay, you can just press your calculator to help, use your calculator to help you. Okay, and 3x square. Okay. And, uh, yeah, over here, 4 choose 3. Okay, which is just 4. Okay, 3x power 3. And finally, 4 choose 4 is just 1. Okay, and then over here, I have 3x power 4. Okay, and... Let me just simplify further. So I've got 12x, okay, plus 6 times 9, 54, x squared, plus 4 times 27, which is 108, x to the power of 3, plus finally 81, okay, x to the power of 4. Okay, before we move on to the next example, just notice over here that in total I have four terms, sorry, five terms. Okay, one, two, three, four, five terms. Okay, so just want to point out a very important point. The total number of terms, okay, total number of terms, okay, is always n plus one. Okay, and in this case, since n is four, four plus one will be five terms. Okay, so that's why there are five terms over here. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Okay, so over in this example, let's just identify the A. The A is 2x. In this case, the B is y. And then the N is 5. Okay, so, you know, I'm just going to show you the first three terms. Okay, and then perhaps you can progress further on your own. Okay, so 2y, 2x plus y to the power of 5. Okay, so first term goes like this. A to the power of 5, which is 2x. Okay, followed by 5 choose 1, okay, followed, uh, I've got 2x to the power of 5 minus 1, okay, and uh, b is just y, okay, carry on, so 5 choose, now we have 5 choose 2, okay, I have 2x to the power of 5 minus 2, okay, if you're, if you're feeling lost, okay, I'm just following the formula that you see at the top of the screen over here, okay, so b square so it's just y square okay and uh yeah then there are a few more terms to go but as i mentioned i'm just going to show you the first three terms okay so if we were to simplify this to the power of 5 is 32 so i've got 32x5 
Okay, five choose one is just uh, <clears throat> is just five. Okay, so uh, maybe let me just write this over here. So I've got two x to the power of four. Y five choose two is just ten. Two x to the power of three. Y square. Okay. Okay, realize that I keep writing this plus um, plus a few dot a few dots at the back. This means that the expression has not ended. Okay, there's a uh, many more terms to go. Okay, so let me just finally simplify this for you. Okay, I've got eighty x four y plus eighty x cubed y square. Okay, okay. Then you know I'll I'll stop here, okay? And uh, just a just a quick quiz question: If I were to expand this, if I were to write out all the terms, how many terms do you think there are? The answer would be once again n plus one terms, okay? And since in this case, uh, n is five, so there will be a total of six terms, okay? Okay. Third example, okay? So once again, let's uh, identify. First and foremost, my a in this case is, is 2. My b is negative 1 over x. Okay, take note over here, b is negative 1 over x. Okay, not positive 1 over x. Okay, n is just 4. Okay, so once again, I'm going to show you just the first three terms. Okay, if not, I'll, I'll, I might, you know, bore some of you to death. So just, yeah, here it goes. So, a to the power of 4. Okay, sorry, 2 to the power of 4 plus, okay, here we go again. So, 4 choose 1. Okay, n choose 1 over here. So 4 choose 1, okay, then I got 2 to the power of 4 minus 1, just 3, okay. I got b is negative 1 over x, okay, 4 choose 2, 2 to the power of uh, 2 in this case, and uh, square, okay. Okay, so let me just uh, simplify all this first, so this is 16. Okay, 4 choose 1 if you have to press your calculator. Okay, this will be negative, sorry. Uh, okay, and uh, 4 choose 2, 48 times 4. Okay, this will be 24 times negative 1 over x squared. Okay, and finally, if I were to just simplify this, this will give me 32 over x, okay, plus 24 over x squared. Okay, so yeah, that's the expansion for, for this uh, expression you see over here. Okay, before I end off, just take note that the number of terms to show will depend on the question. So if the question says show the first three terms, then you just do what you know what I just did over here. If the question says show the first five terms, for example, then you have to show the first five terms. Okay. So I hope it's clear for you. Uh, and uh, just to wrap up, okay. So this is how we use the binomial theorem to expand. Okay, the expression you see over here. And uh, very much all you need to do is to first uh, identify your a, your b and your n, okay, then just uh, do your sub appropriate substitution into the formula, and yeah, you're more or less done, okay, so I'll see you in the next video.